Hey guys, today we're going to be playing MTV's Remote Control on the NES. Now this is a game show game because it's based on MTV's first ever game show called Remote Control. It aired in the late 80s and the host Ken, the premise was that we were in his basement and he was obsessed with TV and he wanted to be a game show host and there's like all these portraits of game show hosts that he idolizes behind him and the contestants are on like Lazy Boys, but they're like seat belted in, it's great. So when I first played this game, I obviously have heard of the show, but since I was like one years old when it was on TV, I've never really watched a lot of it. So before filming this, I did watch it and I like it. <laughs> I wish something like that was on today, except it wouldn't work, it wouldn't be the same, but it's just, it's great. They dump snacks on the contestants. There's like, at one point a guy was laying down in a bed and like watching nine TVs at once and he had to name all the music videos, like it's great. I would be really good at it today. But since all of these TV shows are based on shows that were on in like 1987 and prior, <laughs> we'll see how I do. So those little fuzz balls bouncing around, I believe those are supposed to be popcorn because like I was saying snacks drop down all the um, contestants. <laughs> So at first I thought that was like crumpled up pieces of paper or something. I'm like, no, it has to be popcorn. That makes more sense. Like TV, popcorn. So I was on the right track. So here we choose the contestants and everyone looks very shiny, very sweaty. Like they need some oil control. I'll be her. She looks very 80s. Is this my character or the computer player? I don't know. We'll find out. Welcome to remote control. Let's see our contestants. <laughs> so there we are. So I believe I'm number one and I guess my name's Freddy. I always screwed this up. Every time I played it, I don't know how to change the names. So whatever, we're Freddy and we have a very 80s hairdo. All right, so now we gotta choose a category. So each of these numbers represents a different channel on the TV and they always change them out for each episode. So let's see what's on. You know what, let's start with number three. Three is my favorite number. What's under number three? Video high. All right, does this mean music videos? Where do 40 year old actors go to school? Video high. Ha. <laughs> Get it? Because they play, older people play high schoolers. Okay. Um, welcome back, Cotter. What was the name of the sweat hog played by John Travolta? I don't know. Vinny, right? I just guessed. I've never seen it. It just, it seems like it would be Vinny. So a lot of this is probably going to be me guessing. It's part of the magic. All right. Okay. So because we won, we get to choose another number. Let's go to number one. More MTV. Okay, good. I was raised on MTV. <laughs> After eight years of nothing, this band came back to number one with Amanda. Name their city and you've named the group. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna guess Boston. I was right. I was like, I, I'm not sure, but I feel like it would be Boston given the time period. Educated guess. <laughs> He's mad at me at the end. Oh shit. Oh, well, that's, that's okay. I'm usually good with music. Let's see. He was Miami Steve when he played guitar for Bruce. What's little Steven's last name? Van Zant, right? Yeah. The girl in the middle's like, she's not even paying attention. She's just blissfully happy. All right, let's try number two. Reruns. Okay, so this is gonna be older TV, right? On the Beverly Hillbillies, name the bank where the Clampets keep their money? I have no idea. I've never seen an episode of this. Should I just guess? Or will that go against me? I don't know. I was gonna guess the first one. <laughs> so more video high. Who's the youngest student in head of the class? I don't know. Oh, Pablo finally won. That's the first time we've seen him smile because he's been looking very angry this whole time and I don't really blame him. What was the title of Welcome Back Cotter's, damn it, theme song. Everyone loves a sweat hog going home. Welcome back. Uh, it has to be number three. Yeah, I keep forgetting which button is, what do you press, A or B? It's B, you press B. All right, uh, let's go around the board. Let's do number six. PhD TV, okay, so doctor shows I'm guessing. It's PhD TV. These are advanced questions for those seeking a doctorate in television trivia. What is Johnny Carson's middle name? Edward, William, or he has no middle name. 
I'm gonna, I just, I feel like it's two. Yes! I was like, it just feels like it would be William. Because he's like a classic old American dude. He, he would have a middle name. See, again, educated guess. All right, uh, let's try eight, sure. On SCTV, Count Floyd hosted the very, very, oh, scary monster chiller theater. What very scary character did he dress up as? Dracula, Frankenstein or Wolfman? Dracula. Yes. Oh yeah, SCTV, so Second City TV. A lot of SNL people came from there. And speaking of Saturday Night Live, Colin Quinn was like the sidekick on this show, which I didn't know until I watched some episodes. And he looks so young. See, I first saw Colin Quinn as a kid watching Weekend Update on SNL. So seeing like young Colin Quinn, I'm like, I totally forgot he was like on MTV. Fun fact. Okay, what category? Let's do lucky number seven. It's not gonna be lucky. Odd couple? Shit. I don't know anything about this show. Oscar invested in barnacle glue to make easy money. What was the glue's only shortcoming? It couldn't be mass produced. It didn't stick when it dried. It cost a thousand dollars a jar. I feel like it's number two. Doesn't that feel like a thing that would happen on a sitcom? I'm gonna guess. Fuck yeah. I know one of you, at least some of you might be watching going like, she doesn't even know, she's just guessing. Like, whatever. We're playing MTV Remote Control on the NES in 2021. What what do you want from me? All right, uh, number nine. Wait, did I, I don't know. Prime time, prime, prime time. <laughs> Tour of Duty portrays what unpopular Southeast Asian war? Uh, Vietnam? Yes. Of the following, who did not play one of those wool-caped Mackenzie brothers on SCTV? I know Rick Moranis and John Candy were on it. Dave Tom- oh, Dave Thomas? Like, Wendy's? No! Why won't it let me buzz in? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. It's- Dave Thomas was on SCTV, like Wendy's Dave Thomas? It must, I don't know, I'm confused. Snack break, dump the popcorn. <laughs> I like the girl in the middle, that's me, with glasses going, ah! Quick commercial break. I like that, then it cuts to MTV. This is good. <laughs> okay, now let's start round two. Remember, all the point values are doubled now. All right, let's see what this guy picks. And I think the categories are different now think. Though he looks like Howdy Doody, ugh, he became a teen idol with his hit Never Gonna Give You Up. Rick Springfield. Or wait, it's Astley. Astley, I mean. Astley. <laughs> Holy shit. Rick Springfield was Jesse's girl. I'm gonna choose- was that category eight? I'm gonna choose it again. Still more MTV. Big fat dead Cass Elliot sang with a band that sounds like your parents. Name it. The Mamas and the Papas, cause that's the only real band there. Yeah. If we win, I'm gonna be shocked. I might have just jinxed it. Music's my safe place. <laughs> Lots of peroxide, a vicious snarl, a rubble yell, Billy Idol. Yeah. If I got that wrong, like, what what would be wrong with me? Let's go all the way over here to number one. Kitty TV. Okay. Where can you find wooden puppets, wooden jokes, and wooden people all at the same time? Why, on Kitty TV. <laughs> In the Garden of the Gorgs lives Gobo, Red, Wimbly, Moki, and friends. What show are you watching? Garden of the Gorgs. Oh, is it Fraggle Rock? I remember the theme song from Fraggle Rock. It was on very early in the morning when I was little. But that's like most of what I remember. <laughs> Let's see what else is on there. Hopefully there's some like under the umbrella tree questions. Which animal in Mr. Rogers neighborhood goes by the name of X? The owl, the owl. <laughs> I'm like, the owl, the owl. I'm having way too much fun playing this by myself. Okay, so speaking of Mr. Rogers, I had to pause this. The creepiest, there are some frightening puppets in the neighborhood of make-believe. Like I think Daniel Tiger's fine, I like X the Owl, but freaking, um, I almost said Henrietta Pussy, <laughs> she's fine. But you know who's not fine? Lady Elaine Fairchild. That is the most terrifying puppet I've ever seen. It's 
it's the worst. And I don't like the king's um, son, the Prince Tuesday. Prince Tuesday. I don't like either of those puppets. They creep me out. I would watch Mr. Rogers when I was little, but when it would change to the neighborhood, of, the neighborhood, the neighborhood of Make Believe, I would change the channel to like Nickelodeon or something because like I couldn't handle the puppets. All right, so we are like dominating everyone right now. Feels good. On what kid show did Jimmy and his talking flute end up shipwrecked on Living Island? Is it HR Puffin stuff? Wasn't that? Wasn't that? Oh! I totally guessed. Oh, good answer. Did you skip a lot of school as a kid? <laughs> I like that he sasses you. But real quick, HR Puffin stuff, fun fact, McDonald Land characters totally ripped off of HR Puffin stuff. But I'm glad it happens because the McDonald Land characters are cultural icons and they're great and I love them dearly. So it's okay. It's not, but you know what I'm trying to say. You know what's funny though? So like early on, like when you look at the McDonald Land characters, especially like Hamburglar in the 70s, they're creepy looking and everyone's a little more HR puff and stuff. But then I think by like the late 80s, they started making them more like cute looking. The Hamburglar I grew up with wasn't threatening looking, but if you see him like originally, terrifying looking creature. Don't like it. Okay, I'll mix it up. I don't want to, cause I just want to keep dominating, but I gotta be interesting. <laughs> bon Jovi channel. <laughs> Great. One gorgeous rock man, John Bon Jovi, wants to trot his super bod through the highest mountains in the world. Which mountain range does he go to? I don't know. The Himalayas. Okay, is that like a reference to one of the songs? Oh, so this guy thinks he's a Bon Jovi smart man could save the heartthrob what mongoose right yeah why do they keep saying why do they keep talking about john bon jovi's super bod remember that commercial i want your bod bod body spray your bod bod man fragrance spray Oh, life used to be so much better. The Cartoon Channel. Okay. These are questions about characters who tell jokes, fall off cliffs, talk funny, and generally behave as silly as we wish we all could. <laughs> on what TV show might you see a cartoon donkey dancing about on Junior Sample's head? Is it Hee Haw? Holy shit. <laughs> I haven't thought about Hee Haw probably ever. Do you think I might be able to hire you as a writer? Oh my god, I would love to be a writer on remote control. That'd be my dream. What is Charlie Brown's little sister's name? Sally, Lucy, Trixie. Is it Sally? I think it's Sally. He's dirty, he's grimy, he's messy, but he's Charlie Brown's friend. Pigpen. Pigpen. Scumhead. <laughs> Gum head, oh my god. When you die, you ought to donate your brain to science. Thank you. At least somebody thinks so. At least the man inside the video game thinks I'm smart. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay, let, oh, let's do number six. The Cosby Show. Fuck. I haven't seen a lot of The Cosby Show. Name Sandra's new husband on The Cosby Show. Elvin? Why did I do that? Or is it Melvin? I feel like, ah, fuck. We can't win them all. I shouldn't have buzzed in, but it's like, I felt like I had to. Oh, that girl finally got one. <laughs> she just always has that stupid look on her face. <laughs> Off the air. Okay, some old stuff, I'm guessing. It's getting late in the game, and frankly, Howie, you're not exactly blowing us away. Yeah, because she's losing. Oh, there she goes. Different expression. <gasps> she got electrocuted. Well, I'm totally winning. Good riddance, that's right. So now it's just me and the other guy. Lightning round, oh god, think real fast. I'm not good under pressure with stuff. Okay, I have to name their profession, the character's profession. I don't get it. Oh, Samantha Stevens. Oh, she's a, um, she's a witch. Ralph, I don't know who that is. Uh, I'm just pressing things. Oh, bus driver, okay. Mike Brady, uh, architect. Yes. 
Ginger Grant. Joyce da Davenport. Maddie Hayes. That was hard. I don't know. Well, I didn't do well, but I'm still winning. Oh! Is this it? Does this mean I won? I seriously did not think I was gonna win. We have a winner. All those hours in front of the TV have paid off and given a new meaning to your humdrum existence. Today, I am proud to be your video game tri- Ugh! It goes too fast! Look! There I am! I won! I am now the face of MTV! Alright guys, so that was Remote Control on MTV. I like NES game show games. It's just, they're fun. There's so many good ones, and this one I just kept thinking about. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a good old fashioned Let's Play by myself on remote control on NES. So I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back again very soon. Bye!